so definitely the different type of content that uh, you must be using uh, so the content like the document okay so uh, document we can say we what we are just talking about uh, this um, the e content specifically the soft copies of the content so let me first uh, ask if there is any uh, you know difficulty in understanding the concept in english or you wanted to be bilingual because language is not important here there are tool is important we have english speaking in states in this phase so you can continue in english huh? we have english speaking states in this phase so you can continue in english that will be better no i believe uh, there are some not states also there okay so anyway if you don't have any problem so me too okay so document we can say the traditional type of e content that we are using from the very long like uh, i'm um, demonstrating this powerpoint presentation so it's a part of the document type of content but the importance among these type of content is their file extensions because it's the file extensions that differ these type of content because sometime you must have seen that you have a pdf file but you are not a, a, able to open it maybe some file extension has changed but simply by putting dot pdf you will get that file okay so in the same way all these type of content they have the different file extensions that we need to know so in document we have the different type of content like pdf epub we can say although epub is uh, you can also include among the interactive content and then we have uh, uh this uh, all the word processes whether it's uh, uh, proprietary like microsoft or these are uh, available as a free open office like libre or uh, and others okay then we have the image type of content and definitely we are clicking a large number of images from very long and every day we are sharing a large number of images uh, maybe in a teaching learning process or in a normal process on the whatsapp or other social media but we know the file extension of the image and the most appropriate at this point of time that we are using is a jpg dot dot jpg file extensions but sometime uh, i wanted say for example this image you can assume is it as a one image okay so then you can see that here is a white portion which aligned with my presentation okay so we can say that this content is being superimposed if this is a image it is superimposed and only the part which is required like where it is written is only you know we are able to see and not the other parts so so if we want that image from the internet what do we say that what type of image i want maybe you are looking for some images like the images of flower okay but you wanted that image should be that can be superimposed and only the flower is there so we can say that the file extension for this image is the png dot png portable network graphic sometime we wanted that image that we wanted to stretch at the maximum so for example if you are sharing an image of the dst system and you wanted that your learner be enlarge that image to even to see that pancreas inside it okay so how is possible because it is jpg it will pixelate so then we have that dot svg scalable vector graphics that you can stretch at the maximum but it's the same all these are the images so the file extension is very important to know what type of content we actually require to search on the internet or maybe to create from the by using the different softwares then we have the audio type of content and uh, uh you must be knowing that ncert has converted all their uh, textbook almost all textbooks in audio format which is available in daisy format and currently we are running almost um, 300 uh, uh disseminating our content through uh, 300 or more radio channels specifically the community radio channels in audio format and in audio also we have the different file format say for example dot uh, mp3 that we are uh, using at this point of time and then dot aec and other file extensions are available then uh, we have the video type of content where uh, we can say that it might be the mixture of the 
images and the audio or maybe directly we are recording a large number of videos by using our mobile phone and cameras and we are cit is also developing a large number of videos and almost uh, we have 99.9% .9 coverage of all the textbook which are available in the ncrt that we have already recorded in video format okay and in video format also we have the different type of file extensions like uh, .mp4 that at this point of time we are using .mp4 in hd format and then uh, uh, sometime uh, we are using the other five for example if i am recording a video by using the dslr camera so if it's a half an hour uh, duration 30 minutes duration that i i'm going to record in that script so the camera gives us that mov format dot mov format which is uh, quite high and it has a large number of extensions within that format and if the file size might be the 15 to 20 gb okay so then we are editing that in the uh, video softwares and then converting into high definition format that reduces to uh, 500 uh, you know um, mb or something around 1 gb okay so that's a dot mov is a file extension when we are recording from the camera and then we are converting that into dot mp4 maybe you know we have the uh, for, um, 4k type of content that we are also recording and then we have the different file type uh, in within that see the importance of knowing these file type type is basically to render that content so for example if you are getting a virtual reality video so that definitely minimum uh, requirement is 4k it's maybe higher than that your normal browser will not be able to or your normal you know uh, the apps that we are using maybe on your phone or laptop may not be able to render that content so if you know that what's the file type of that accordingly you find the container like uh, the maybe not compatible with the media player but maybe compatible with the vlc so that's why we need to know all these file type extensions so then we have the interactive type of content where actually interaction is possible. So for example, uh, I'm just, uh, you know, moving this mouse and you will see that mouse is moving from here and there. So it means some action and reactions are happening. So we can say that this device is very interactive. Okay, so in the same way, we have the interactive type of content. As I said earlier in the document type, that EPUBs are also interactive. So that you can also include in the document and interactive and uh, we have a large number of content which is available on Diksha also. So it's an interactive type of content where actually interaction is possible. Then the content, uh, as we are, uh, you know, going to be more high tech, we have, the content is also evolving with the time and the gadgets are also evolving. So then we have the immersive type of content. So in immersive type of content, if you see this type of content by using the proper gadgets, so then you feel that immersion that you are part of that content or content is available within your environment. So for example, in video, if you see the video, just like, like the way you are listening to me, it's the same because it's through the video format only. Okay, so here you can see that you will be able to see the other things around you, the other uh, hindrances and uh, you know, other type of uh, uh, things in your environment, you are able to listen to them also, and uh, you are not paying that much attention. But in immersive content, if you have that devices that we are using in virtual reality or mixed reality, then you can feel that you are actually part of the content. So that's why we called it the immersive type of content because it gives to that immersion. So uh, is there any problem now with my voice, Nidhi? You are audible, clearly audible. Okay. Okay. So now we are focusing on the immersion type of content, that immersive content. So immersive content, first we have this augmented reality. So what it says, as for the definition, augmented reality, or simply we call this the AR. Is a view of the real and physical world in which user find and enhanced element by computer generated simulations by overlaying graphics, music, animation, GPS markers, logs, etc., to augment the user environment. As a layman and as a teacher, 
I would like to say that I'm going to teach the concept, any concept you can assume. And that concept is being augmented by using some specialized 3D software and simulations and presented to the user in their own environment. So that's what we call the augmented reality, where the user can actually interact with that simulations. And I have taken two or three examples like a, a Pokemon game and NCRT AR app and Google AR also. Okay, so then we can start it with the Google AR. Uh, but I'm not uh, sure that I can demonstrate uh, specifically this one here because uh, <clears throat> I don't have uh, any uh, non-reflecting surface but I will uh, show you that how you can do that. So if you do that along with your phone, that will be quite interesting. And you let me know that you are able to perform it. Okay, so just wait. I will also try, but I'm sure that uh, I don't have uh, the non-reflecting surface because uh, it is, uh, very much reflection is there. So let me share my phone. Okay. So you can see this is my phone. You can also open your phone and uh, open the browser and type this tiger. So for example, I'm going to teach the concept of tiger and with some 3D simulations, the concept is being augmented and presented in my own environment. So if you're doing this one, just open your Chrome browser specifically, <clears throat> then type the tiger. <laughs> Sorry. Just scroll down, you will find that it's written view in 3D. So just click on this one. <clears throat> now, view in your space. So if you click over there, you need to scan some <clears throat> non reflecting surface. So, uh, because there is a very much reflectance there, so that I told earlier, because I already know this one. So you need to scan some non-reflective surface. Okay, apna jo farsh hai, or niche ka jo, usko ap scan kariye, and then the tiger will be in front of you. Oh, that's nice. It was there. <laughs> anyway, so other content I will be able to render. Yeah, 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 yeah. Find it, find it, find it. Good. So now you can see <clears throat> that I was teaching the concept of wild animal, and among them the tiger is one. So I can show the image to my learner. I can also show the videos to my learner. I can also show the audio or maybe take them to some safari, which is not possible for every uh, you know, <clears throat> children to go for safari. But if you use this augmented reality, you can show them a realistic tiger in your classroom. So it's also a roaring, you can see. You can interact with the tiger also. You can move or zoom in, zoom out, and you can move to it any side to see their different characters. Okay. So this is what we call is the augmented reality. Okay. So that, uh, that I was going to teach the concept of tiger, which is being augmented by using the, some 3D simulations and presented in my own environment. So now tiger is part of my environment. You can see. Okay. So this is what we call is the augmented reality. So you don't need any app for this one. You only need to open this tiger and then you can go on. You can try it at your place uh, whenever you have the time. But this is how you can simply uh, not coming in my Chrome. Okay, definitely. So that's really uh, not the good one, but <laughs> good one in the sense that we will have a feedback on this. Okay. so. If it is, if the tiger, so there is one troubleshoot. Uh, if the tiger is not coming out in your room, so for example, when you're clicking on this one and you're reaching at this point, okay, but it is not written over there that the uh, click view in your space. Or if you are clicking, the tiger is not coming. So it means 
your device is not compatible with this AR core. Okay, so how you can check it? Now you can check it by opening in the Chrome and search for AR core because this technology is AR core. This is very important. We need to know this one. And then why it's not working? If you wanted to, uh, you know, streamline this technology in your classroom, and then it's not working, so then you need to check it. So basically, this technique, this technology, require AR core certification. Uh, no, it's not possible, sir. There is no app which can do this one if your phone is not listed because I said it require certification that uh, AR core certification by the Google. Your device is, uh, you know, required there. So for example, if you landed on this page, AR core devices, and you search over there, your device. So for example, my device is, uh, it's a node. Oh, sorry. It's a whole search. Let me search on this page only. Okay. So this is a node. And so you can see, Mine is node uh, 2 5G, this one. And it says that it supports depth API. But I'm doubt that this node uh, CE2 may not be able to support because it's not updated over there anything. So like you can search your device. If nothing is written in front of it, it means it don't have that certification, most probably. OK, and this is not the hardware problem or the software problem. This is the certification problem. So maybe after some point of time, uh, you know, your company, the phone that you have, which company, whatever it is, so they may take some permission. Okay, so like this way it works. What this technique, we call it the AR core. Okay, so now let's have uh, some content from the our own NCRT AR app. See, uh, our augmented reality app, we built that app using the different technology, not this one. Keep it, keeping in mind that uh, our users are sitting at the remote that places in the country, and they may uh, not have the you know latest devices among them. So that's why we use the different technology, and definitely our uh, app at least work in almost all mobile devices having the uh, Android version more than 4.1. Okay, Dinka bhi Android version 4.1 se upar hai, usme wo chalega. Aur 4.1 se niche to hum usko smartphone kehte bhi nahi hai. Thik hai, because uh, usme bho sari apps nahi chalti hai. So, let me show you some of the content that we have in our app. So, in our app, we have the two versions. So, why I'm saying two versions? Because the second uh, is also available in a beta version. So, if you need that version, you may get it through coordinators like uh, Nidhi uh, is here. She can send you the that version also. You can also try it. The other one which is available on the Play Store, but sometime that one is uh, posing some problem at this point of time and may not be work properly. So very soon we will be updating the second version over there. But uh, let me check first. So this is the app that we have. This is the augmented reality. E partial is our branding name. So uh, here you can choose the class. So currently uh, we are uh, having the class 9th and 10th. You can choose any class, say for example, this 9th. And then you can choose the chapter. And currently we are working with the science. You can choose a chapter. So if we say biology, so we have the chapter number seven, diversity in living organism within that science, because in ninth class, you know, we have only science, okay? But we have uh, uh, that chapter seven. And then within the chapter seven, we have just one concept at this point of time, this is 7.1 is the bacteria, okay? So then I need to click on the load. Till the time it is uh, uploading, so I will be opening that chapter seven because I don't have the hard copy. So uh, I think it's already opened somewhere. This is chapter seven. Okay. So the concept was, I 
I think this is a 7.1 is the Molira as the criteria. So it's a, a downloading a 4 MB simulation from the internet. So when it's open, so camera will automatically be open as we have seen in uh, Tiger also. Or in case of Tiger, we have seen that the camera was automatically open and we scanned that surface. Okay non reflecting surface so excuse me um, as requested by dr yashpal i have already sent link for the app which dr yashpal is using right now so if sir is um, if sir prefers to do so participants can also try the same what sir is showing Thank you. okay so you can also do that so uh, madam has already uh, sent that link so that's a beta version check because uh, mine is just uh, downloading the content maybe uh for internet ka issue hai. So, what else I gave us right so more than 70 percent has been done so when it's open I need to scan this image actually okay because uh, we have aligned our content with the NCRT textbook so Okay, so it's open. So no, I need to scan that image. Here is the image. Let me open both the windows over there. So you can see my camera is here. Okay, so. Learning objective. Let us see the important characteristic of the- Okay, so only once you need to scan this one. So I can hide one, this one and I can make full screen of this one. Okay, so we scanned that image from the textbook and this simulation is live to perform. This activity is live to, you know, deal with. So now you can discuss this activity to your learners. So only one time you need to scan. So it's mandatory in augmented reality that you should have a, a camera uh, embedded with your mobile phone. Uska camera jo hai, wo bhi chalna hai. Okay. So, isme piche ka jo background hai, you can uh, remove this background with this icon. We have put this uh, AR camera. So, if you click on this one, so you can remove that background. Okay. Jo ka, wo kar sakte ho. And then you can perform this simulation on your mobile phone uh, with the guided activities. Learning outcome and uh, sorry, learning objectives are there. If you wanted to hide it, so we have a menu. So hide menu, we click on it, it will go there. Okay. And uh, then you need to click on this uh, highlighted continue button to continue. Monera Kingdom. Monera Kingdom includes Archibacteria, Eubacteria, and Cyanobacteria. They are microscopic, unicellular, and prokaryotic organisms. Click on the highlighted content bacteria. Bacteria do not have a nucleus. They are found in hot springs, snow, deep oceans, or as parasites in other organisms. Click on the highlighted cell wall of bacteria. Bacteria have a rigid cell wall which protects and gives shape to the cell. Click on the highlight pili of bacteria. Bacteria pili are short and thin, thread-like tubular structures projecting out from the cell wall. Click on the highlighted flagella of bacteria. Bacteria move with the help of one or more flagella. Flagella are longer and thicker than pili. Click on the highlighted continue button to plasma membrane of bacteria. The plasma membrane present below the cell wall encloses the cytoplasm and other cell contents. Click on the highlighted continue button. DNA of bacteria. One circular chromosome made of a double helical molecule of DNA is located in a region of the cytoplasm called a nucleoid. Click on the highlighted mode of nutrition. The organisms belonging to this group are either autotrophs, produce their own food, or heterotrophs, consume the food from the environment. 
example, bacteria, anabina, click learning outcomes. We can explain structure of a bacteria, Munira. We can classify bacteria and anabina based on their characteristics. Okay, so likewise, this is uh, one of the concepts where we have seen the structure of uh, this Monera and specifically we have taken that bacteria. Normally, we have the one side of the bacteria you can see in the 2D images, but here you can actually interact with that and you can see the all around, uska aage ka, piche ka, ja plazila, koi bhi usko zoom in, zoom out karke hum log dek sakte hai. So that's the possibility in augmented reality. Now, we'll go through some more uh, content. So for example, let's go to class 10. So uh, here we have the chapter like uh, life process. Okay. So chapter number six. And uh, these are the topics which are currently available. So let's see one of them. 6.14. Uh, okay, so we will try this one. Let it uh, load at that time. So till the time is loading, if you have any question, any query, you may ask, please. Sir, what is the name of the app which is allowing your uh, cell phone to know display in the laptop? <laughs> okay. So it's a uh, SRCPY that I'm using because we tried a large number of, but it has, see, everything has its uh, pros and cons. So SCRCPY. So this is uh, open source. So I will share this one, uh, this the link is, but the problem is this app that it use the debugging of your mobile phone. I don't know if you understand this term, but the problem is debugging that your phone or your device is prone to many other things because you are giving the permission to the root of your mobile phone. Okay, so that's a big problem uh, with using this app. Otherwise, if you compare this app, there is no comparison. I have tried n number, not just the 110, but n number of apps. So I found it, you know, very helpful. So you can also use this one. But here's the problem is with the voiceover. It's not currently rendering the voiceover, but uh, uh, there is one another app that I'm not using this one because if you use a large number of apps, uh, especially uh, for uh, routing, so then you have problem with your device. Okay. So here is the chapter number six, the life process. And uh, we click on, uh, it was 14, sir, you, Satan Bola Tabi 14, so many jaldi se click. Yes, sir. 6.14. 6.14. So let's check that. So one one. This is the one four. So I think in this app uh, we don't have the voiceover currently. Okay. So this is uh, this uh, specifically this con concept is under the process. You can say, but you can uh, interact with the structure because it don't have the voiceover right now. Okay. So and it don't have the description. But you can see this one. Basically, this is the old asset, and we just changed that architecture and put it over here. Okay. So there is a. One more, uh, uh, let me show you some uh, third party apps because we are discussing the tools. So this is our app, ePartialai app. I will uh, come again on this app also, but I will let you show, let me show you some more uh, interactive content by third party. Okay, so here is one app that mm -hmm. I'm frequently using. Uh, this is a, uh, you can see this one is a, uh, Admentum. Air biology. It's a very good app uh, to dissect the frog. Okay, because uh, now we have closed this activity of dissecting the frog in almost all schools, but how the learner will learn to dissect the frog. So here you can dissect the frog virtually. So let me set up this one. I have a nice table over here. So let me scan if it's uh, working back over there. So yeah. 
Okay. So now you can see I have set up my table. So now I can perform the experiments. It has a guided experiments also with voiceovers. So for example, if you click on this one, the appropriate tool from the tool tray to perform each dissection step. First, fix the limbs of the frog on the soft board. Okay, so first I need to fix on the uh, fix the limbs of the frog. Okay, so now I have to make uh, incisors. Make skin incisions on the frog. Okay, so you can also go this way also. Okay, but this is, uh, we are not performing actually anything. It's happening automatically. Let me go back to the back menu. No, I wanted to perform with my own hands. So I need to click on this marker and I need to perform where I have to actually cut that. Because their rendering is taking at least 10 seconds. So. <laughs> Okay, so now I need to make the cut. No, I have to remove the flaps with the help of forcep. Now I need to fix with the help of some pins. Okay. Next, have to do muscle tissue. Now I have to cut through the muscle tissues with the help of scissor in the same way. Put the cut flap. I have to move the cut flaps of the muscle tissues. Now fix the muscle. I have the fix with the help of Take pins. Place it on the tray. Now I need to remove the lever and I need to place it on the tray. Now cut the heart free. Now heart ka jo artery hai that I need to cut. Now I need to remove the heart. The gallbladder. I need to cut the stomach, the esophagus, and the intestine from the stomach to the sphincter. Now I remove this small intestine. Okay, so like this way, you can perform your own simulations by using the augmented reality. Because uh, nowadays, uh, hello, am I audible? Yes, you are. Okay, because the screen bar is free, so I was thinking if you are not able to listen to me. Okay, so in this way, we can perform uh, the dissection of frog by using this augmented reality. So now we'll be um, moving towards uh, we have some more uh, content uh, from uh, the CIT. Let me just go back. Uh, sorry to interrupt you, sir. You have told us about Edmontum and you have not told us about it. Are there any other apps in this way? There's a large number of apps, sir. Available in almost all the subject areas. So, but we are here discussing about the biology. So, in, in even uh, within uh, this admentum, you can see there are other concepts also. So, for example, uh, let me uh, show my mobile phone. Like uh, you can go for classifying the organisms. Okay, or maybe even within the frog. Oh, sorry, I have double click it. So let's wait. You can go for the external anatomy of the frog also. Okay. 
So let me scan if it is possible because it's very reflective surface. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't won't work. Okay, so here is the frog. You can see it's a very small, although. So you can see this is the frog. Okay, because this is quite small. So you can see its activity, like how the frog is actually look like. Because mostly the children, they are, uh, you know, most of the children, they don't uh, touch the frog. But here you can actually touch. If you click on this one, it will show its tongue how to catch the, you know, insects. You can see this one, how it's working. Now, so I'm clicking on this one and it shows its activity. So <laughs> here you can use this app so that learner can actually interact with it. So then if you go back, you can have this classifying the insects. Okay, so which insects you want to classify? Say for example, this is the rhino beetle, okay. So let me scan, let me place the rhino beetle over here, yeah. You can see this is the rhino beetle. Okay, so now I can actually move this one. Now it's flying, you can see. Just wait for a few seconds because uh, it's a rendering time is different. So now I can move this one. So it's coming to my side. With joystick, I can move this one, okay. Now it's landing surface. Okay, so like this one, you can actually interact with the different type of, uh, you know, animal and insects. There is a large number of uh, apps are available, sir. So even uh, different for the different animals, for the dinosaurs, for um, even in botany, you have the different types of apps which are available, but you need to search it from the internet. And that definitely uh, needs some compatibility with your mobile phone. We are also developing our own uh, dissection uh, content and we have just written the script last time. So maybe very soon you will have uh, uh, some own content. Yes, it's available on Play Store, sir. Okay, so let me show you uh, some simulations. For example, uh, in class, yeah, same. So let me show you one more simulation from uh, CIT. So it's on the elementary canal. So here it is. So now let me minimize this one because the bot will be rendered on the same device. So The human elementary canal digestive system. Okay, so we need to scan it once. Let us learn about the human elementary. So again, canal. you can change uh, the background from the and also you can hide the description. About it. Now, here you can perform uh, to teach or discuss the three different concepts like about elementary canal organs, about accessory organs and the whole process of digestion you can see from here. You can uh, zoom in, zoom out. You can see from the any side. Okay, so for example, elementary canal. Elementary canal. So now it's highlighted the elementary canal. The elementary canal and you can see to the, the uh, commentary behind it. The food that we eat is okay, boxed. you can also zoom in, zoom out. Maybe you can go to the accessory the organs. Accessory organs. Okay. So you will see the different accessory organs. organs. Are organs which participate in the digestion process, but are not actually a part of the elementary canal. 
Okay, so now you can also go through the digestion process. Learning objective. Let us see how digestion of food take place in the human body. Click on any button from the side panel to see the human digestive process. Okay, so for example, uh, this injection. Injection. You can see it from any side. You can zoom in to see the position of the glands. Okay. Uh, even from the behind, from the front, from the side, you can see from any angle because this is a 3D simulation and it's interactive. Then you may click the peristaltic. That's how the food goes to the stomach, through the mouth. Okay. So then it has the different secretions uh, in the stomach and other um, intestines. Then how the digestion of food is happening. Uh, and then this absorption, that's how the food is moving in the small intestine and the various, uh, you know, see the content is of uh, secondary class, okay? So when we develop the same content for uh, higher secondary class, so definitely you have some elaboration and then we will also show how the bile from these intestines are, uh, you know, uh, the how the, the different uh, uh, type of minerals and other things are moving from this food to the uh, intestine and other uh, um, arteries and veins that are taking place over there. And then you can click on the excretion. The unabsorbed food is sent into the large intestine where its wall absorbs more water from this material. The rest of the material is removed from the body via the anus. The exit of this waste material. Okay, so like right. now you have the link of the app, you install this one. And uh, if you wanted to have some more apps regarding the augmented reality, you may go to the Play Store or maybe other, uh, if you have the iPhone, go there and find out this. But first, we need to understand that. This is the augmented reality, and this type of content is also available. This is not the fiction, but the, it is currently available, and it's freely available, large, large number of content, okay? But if you use our content, that's a definitely the verified content, and if you wanted to use some other content also, so first go through that content, find it if it's helpful for you, and it's freely available, you use it. Okay, so this is about the augmented reality. If you have any question query within the commentary reality, you may ask, otherwise we will proceed. Okay, so anyway, if you have any question, you can write it anytime. So now we will be moving towards the virtual reality. So in virtual reality means filling the Imaginary or the virtual world, it is basically an experience taking place within simulation, which can be similar to or completely different from the real world. An immersive artificial environment that is created with software and presented to the user in such a way that the user suspends belief and accept it as a real. Okay. So as a layman, the things which are virtually available. Okay. The things which are virtually available, if you see that with the help of some soft, uh, software and some specialized hardware that we call the head monitor devices or the virtual reality boxes, so then the user feel it as a reality, as real, and they're part of the environment. In augmented reality, I said the concept is being augmented is part of your environment. As you have seen, the tiger was part of my environment. The beetle was part of my environment. The dissecting tray was just sitting on my table. But in virtual reality, you are actually part of the that environment. So how it's possible? Okay, that we will see through different resources. So first, uh, I will show you some general uh, virtual reality tour. So then we will come to the biology. Okay. So let me explain uh, mixed reality also because I will demonstrate that one uh, simultaneously. So mixed reality, if you see, is combined both the feature of the virtual and augmented reality. Okay. 
So, so for example, you are inside a virtual environment and you are interacting with the things. We can, in augmented reality, you are interacting with the content. And in mixed reality, you are sitting at a place which was virtually available. So in mixed reality, you are sitting in a place which is virtually available, but you are actually interacting with the content inside it. So we also call this augmented virtual reality because it combines the, fe what the feature of the augmented and virtual reality. Okay. So let's see some of the content. Let me show you uh, one tour of so this is a basically general tour so nothing relevant to biology or place okay so Okay, so this is Gandhi Ashram in Varda. So this is a, a 360 degree virtual reality story type of tour. If you see this tour by using the specialized gadgets, we call it the virtual reality headsets. So then you feel that you are actually standing at this place on these stones. Okay, and wherever you will see, you will only find this place. Wherever you will see, right, left. You will find that you are actually standing in this place because this will surround you. So here we have the different markers where you can actually interact with this one. If you click on this one, so this is the prayer ground where Gandhiji used to have pray. And then when he came to this ashram, this is the first uh, cottage. He stayed in this cottage. So if you click on this one, you will moving inside that cottage. Excuse me, sir. Uh, please, ma'am. Uh, I'm interrupting only to give you a reminder that only 15 minutes are left. Okay. So then we'll directly uh, go to the content. I have just set up uh, one thing for you that how you can interact with the mixed reality. Because uh, to demonstrating both these things require a last number of uh, you know, time. So you can see this is the head mounted devices. Are we called it the virtual reality box? Okay. So it has uh, this controller, basically the two. So let me see if the casting is working. So I have already set up this space for you. So uh, it won't take much time. Let me fix my mobile phone. So. Uh, And but is I'm going to uh, performing inside this one. Uh, maybe you are able to see this one is. Uh, Okay, 
So here we are. So here you can see what I'm, I'm going to perform in virtual and mixed reality. You are able to see it from your uh, screen. So if there is an issue, you can tell me, okay? So because uh, it's a connection is a bit problem. Yeah, okay. So here are different apps which are available. Let's see this one, the app lab. So maybe rendering is a bit uh, slow with you because I'm connecting with this one. But here you will be able to see uh, just with it's rendering. Okay. So now I'm inside my lab. Here you will see I will be interacting with the skeletal system. So are you able to see the skeletal system? Yes, sir. Yes. So here is my menu. I can interact with the contents. Now see where I'm putting is a skull. So you know it's sternum and then it's humerus. So I'm inside the lab. You can see wherever because this is the virtual and I'm feeling this as a reality. I'm I'm actually interacting with this. For example, this is a skull. I can remove that skull. Okay. So now the skull is in front of me. Are you able to see this one? Yes, it is visible. Now I can expand this one. So okay. Okay, now you can see the different part of the skull because you will not get that opportunity in any of the content. Even in video, the video will not be any clear. You can move to any side to see any of the bone. You can pick any bone and you can see the backside of that bone. Okay, now you will see that this is the occipital lobe bone and how the occipital lobes are inside. You can never be able to see this one, uh, you know, accept this reality. So now I can put it again. So I can again move the head from where I have take it like this one. Okay. Now I might be taking this hip bone towards me. Now I'm interacting with this one and I can move it to any side to see the various architecture of this bone that how, you know, it look like in actual. So I can move uh, this uh, skeleton to any side. And again, I can put it back to that place. Okay. So now you can actually remove the bones. And you again rejoin them. And it will show you where you have to put it. So for example, this is the mandible. Okay, so you can see that this is the uh, mandible. Again, you can connect that mandible over there. So like this way, uh, this is what we called is the mixed reality that I'm inside this lab and I'm actually interacting with the content inside this one. Let me show you some more uh, content quickly because we have the shortage of time, then you can uh, have your questions. It's just uh, uploading. Dr. Nidhi, remind me when uh, two, three minutes are left. Okay, so again, uh, we have this uh, different skeletal system, but it will tell you the whole story. And here you can choose the organ of your uh, choice. Okay, 
So for example, uh, this is uh, the alveolar nerves and bones. Okay, so here it is. Okay, so again, you will have this one. And now you have the whole story of this one. Okay, so you can click on anyone, this one, and you can also read about uh, the content which is uh, written over there. Because of this mashes, I have set that uh, boundary over there. So you can see with the connective muscles also, because the skeletal is here with the connective muscles. Okay, so you can see, you can also lay down this one and you can uh, study the different uh, bones within the skull. Or maybe this, um, you know, you can take out the ribs, how these are connected with the different muscles. Okay. Okay, I have not put it right. <laughs> and then uh, you can change that environment that how your app will look like. Okay, I have just changed that environment and then uh, uh, some of the content because uh, most of the content, maybe they have paid one, but now some of actually is uh, freely available. So whatever is freely available, we should use that type of content. So this is what we call is the uh, mixed reality. Yes, please. We are left with only five minutes. Okay. So I'm back. So let me uh, conclude my session that we have discussed the different type of content. Okay. And uh, we started with the how you have seen that how content has evolved among these uh, few years and where we are going right now. So as NEP 2020 also emphasizes the use of uh, these different techniques like AR, VR, AI, 3D, 7D type of content. And uh, we are working on this type of content. In augmented reality, you have seen that we scanned the density system, but we never scanned the tiger, okay? So we can say the augmented reality is of two types. One, which require markers to scan and some is marker less, okay? So one type is marker based and another type is marker less. So sometimes you may not be have to scan the marker if you download some apps. So simply scan the non-reflecting surface, but surface, not roof, not walls, but surface. Okay, that you should need to understand because your mobile phone has a lot of sensors. So it will sense that it's a surface or not surface. It's reflecting or not reflecting. Okay, so in virtual reality, we have seen that you have the 360 degree content and you are inside it. You can interact with the content that we call the mixed reality. Virtual reality, if you have the gadgets, if you have the devices, then you called it the immersive. If you don't have that one, just like the tour of Mahatma Gandhi, so yeah, and then we say that this is non-immersive or semi-immersive, but you can, you are able to still that use that content. But in that case, if you use that content with your mobile phone, then you require one sensor that we call the gyro sensor. Okay. Agar gyros mein nahi hoga, to aapka head to move karega, lekin content move nahi karega. So when you are purchasing your mobile phone, you should go to these three, two, three things to find out from the website, which company you are looking for the mobile. So gyro is hardware. So there is no alternative to this one. You need to change your device if you don't have the gyro. But most of the devices, they have that gyro so that we actually require. So now we are uh, open for question answers. So if you have any question, any query, you may ask over here. Feedback you may give when we go back to the normal session. Uh, one of the participants has asked, can we create our own augmented reality content? Yes, of course, you can uh, develop any type of content, but this augmented reality require actually uh, the team of two, three persons. So for example, you have seen that uh, we have 3D simulations. So one person is required who can actually create the 3D simulations. Another person who can actually be coded 
another person who can actually work on some engines like we work on uh, not ar core but uh, unity uh, engine so that and one uh, definitely the subject matter expert if you if you have that team you can definitely do that but it's not job of the one person to develop uh, this segmented reality type of content Okay, there is uh, another question. It seems it is the same 3D model simulation when you were showing uh, skeleton at that time. This question was asked. Definitely, as I said that these are the 3D models, but you need to interact with that model. That's very important. Okay, that's not automated. So that's a part of uh, the coding. Another question is, sir, uh, can we show in the CAL center or projector? Yes, definitely that you can show. See, the way I am showing, I have connected to the two, three devices that I have connected the this uh, box with my mobile and my mobile I have connected with my laptop and through laptop you are able to render that content and might be you can connect your laptop again to your projector. So that's both possibilities there. Okay, uh, just a second. Before uh, taking up uh, the next question, I would like to announce one thing. Uh, within one minute, uh, we will go back in the meeting. So for going back in the meeting, there is one icon near the bottom of the screen that is leave room. So when you will click on leave room, you will have two options. One is leave meeting, the other is leave breakout room which is colored by blue color so click on leave breakout room only okay. do not click on leave meeting otherwise you will be out of the meeting click only on leave breakout room that's it uh, if you find if there is any query regarding this you can ask and now i'll take up the other question another question is sir my phone scanned the tiger image but when i used e Parshala app the image was not focused I mean, I did not get the image. Okay, so see, if uh, you are using uh, the new, uh, you know, app that uh, uh, Nidhi has sent you, definitely you are able to do it. But in Tiger, you don't need to scan anything. Okay, you just scan the surface. But in ePartshala, the content which you are going to render, you need that actually that image. It doesn't matter that image in hard copy software. As as, as we have seen that I have scanned the soft copy. I don't have textbook right now with me. So that image we actually require, but it doesn't matter if it's a black and white, color, Xerox, or something, but you actually require that image. Oh, yes. Last question I can take up right now is what is the price of Yahox? Okay, so this one is very costly. You may try some from Amazon. It's starting from 350 uh, rupees. So you can use your phone as a, you know, to render the content. So that's a quite cheap one and that will be the maybe you can start from here but if you have lakhs of rupees you can spend on this 